tube size is extremely crucial to determine uh, this, to measure the utilization of warehouse. Uh, to start with, all what you have to do is to calculate the storage area by multiplying the ranks and widths of ranks by the height of the highest load in each area. So this cubic form for each area to arrive at your inventory cube size. So let's take a brief example how it is uh, calculated. Okay. So we do it very briefly. I'm going to consider this example to calculate the cube size. So all the material available, all the material available in the factory will be added together. So in our example, we have the pipe, large diameter, the metal sheet, metal cone, high thickness sheet, uh, pipe, small diameter, I-beam, uh, dot stock, H-beam, U-channels, and angles. So we got those values. And when you add them together, they will sum up to 2,450 uh, cubic meter. So let's see here uh, another example like related to measure the utilization of the warehouse. Uh, saying if we have a warehouse that is 300 meter wide and 200 meter long warehouse with 5,000 square meter of office space. So we have literally 55,000 uh, square meter unusable space. Okay, as a warehouse. Not unusable, sorry. It's usable like dedicated for the warehouse. Okay, once you multiply this number by the clear height to find the storage capacity. If we have a height of 27 meters, which is like extremely high, so this will come up to 1,485,000 uh, cubic meter. Since the number are not very reasonable, so they will come up to 1,485. So all I have to do is multiply the length times the width times the height in order to calculate the total uh, inventory cube size, how much you've got in this factory. Okay. This number is a 1,485,000. We put it on the side and then we, c we calculate all the storage capacity. Um, we calculate, excuse me, uh, and we add all the volume of all the product we have stored in the uh, warehouse, which are 225,000. So once we must divide this 225,000 by the total volume capacity of the warehouse we obtain the uh, warehouse utilization so I will repeat all I have to do is to divide to calculate the total warehouse capacity which is the height times the width times the length okay and you put this as the denominator and the numera numerator uh, you put you add up all the products volume, you add them together and you put them as a numerator. Once you divide this value divided by the denominator, you get the percentage utilization of the warehouse. Okay. Uh, if we consider an example, just to see, uh, as we said here, like the total uh, capacity usage, the one we have is 2,400 and 50 cubic meter. Of all the products we have in the warehouse, they come up to this value. Okay. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show, we're going to consider another example. Or let's do it in this video. Let's do it in this video. So if we go back to the start uh, of this video. So we have a warehouse of an area of 3,300 square meter. And we're going to uh, well, we have the width times the length is 3,300 square meter, and we're gonna subtract uh, the area occupied by machine and offices. It will come up to 2,573 square meter. We multiply by this by the height used, currently used, which is 3.5. The maximum use is 3.5, so this is 9,000 cubic meter. Okay. Uh, so in this case, the one we have here, in order to 9,000, just memorize this number, which is like the width times the length times the height, which we put this in the denominator. And if we, we add up all the value of a product, the volume available, they will come up to 2,450. So we divide both numbers, we got 27.2 percentage, which is the space utilization. Okay. So what we did here, 
this slide. We, uh, based on those recommendations, the one we have here is to divide the storage in section, clear aisle, maximize the height, sort product in the way of market need. So we, we come up with an extra of 150 square meter on top of Sorry, I'm never going to get this properly. On top of all those values. So those values are the, the warehouse area minus the machines and the offices. So we add to it 150, which is like the newly found empty space. So this is 2,724 square meter. We multiply this by the height, okay, which is we maximize the storage uh, going upward. So this is like cubic meter okay uh, an inventory cubic uh, size so when we have a new space for the product so we could store more products so this will come up to 150 uh, squ square meter okay so we divide the value divided by the capacity of the warehouse we obtained the new percentage of utilization of the warehouse okay so in brief, what I'm going to say, um, just to s uh, summarize it. So you go into a warehouse, you measure the length times the width, okay? You measure the length times the width times the height of the warehouse, which is the maximum or the highest point of storage in the warehouse. So this will be the warehouse, you put this number in the denominator as capacity. And then you add up all the capacity of all the products available in the warehouse. And you put them all together as a summation, you put them as a numerator. And you divide both values to get a ratio. So any modification you could obtain in order to maximize uh, both values, like you maximize the storage of product, you increase the number of products stored, as well as you increase the number of height in the warehouse available. So this would lead to